Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this triangle ABC along with this semicircle. As you can see in this diagram, such that O is the center of this semicircle. And moreover, this BC is tangent to this semicircle, whereas this AB is the chord. And furthermore, this angle C is 22 degrees. And now we are going to calculate this angle uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and connect uh, this center O with this uh, point uh, B, as you can see in this uh, next diagram. Now we can see that this OB is the radius of this semicircle. Let me go ahead and represent this one by lowercase r. And this uh, OA is the radius of this very same uh, semicircle. So I'm going to call this one as a lowercase r as well. So therefore, we conclude that this uh, AOB is an uh, isosceles uh, triangle since uh, this side length uh, equal to this uh, side length. So therefore, if this angle is x, then this angle has got to be x as well. And now let's recall the circle theorem. According to this theorem, the angle between the radius and the tangent line will always be exactly 90 degrees, as you can see in this diagram. So therefore, in our case, this angle OBC is going to be 90 degree angle. Since uh, OB is our radius uh, and this uh, BC is our tangent line. And now let's focus on this uh, whole uh, angle uh, ABC. That is going to be the sum of uh, this angle X uh, and this uh, 90 degree angle. So therefore, this whole angle uh, is going to become X plus uh, 90 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, big triangle uh, a, B, C. And now let's recall this uh, triangle sum theorem. According to this theorem, the sum of three interior angles in a triangle is always equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, in our case, uh, the sum of all these three angles, X plus uh, X plus 90 degrees plus uh, 22 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. So therefore, let me go ahead and write down our angle X plus uh, x plus 90 degrees plus uh, 22 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees. And now let's go ahead and combine these like terms. So that is going to become uh, 2x plus uh, 112 degrees equals to 180 degrees. Now let's go ahead and subtract 112 degrees from both sides. This is gone. So therefore we got 2x equal to 68 degrees. Let's divide by 2 on both sides. This is gone. So therefore our angle x turns out to be equal to 34 degrees. So thus our angle x turns out to be 34 degrees. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.